must make it back into the wall. There's the wall into the rat. Rat into fox. Fox into wolf. On and on and on. The great unmaking of the chain. Well, this is new. Where then goes the man? He stays. Lives. Kills. Burns. Poisons the sea. Bears down the sky. Old age may soon claim him. But soon. Even that. He will defeat. We are made of killers. These hands took us men. But now. No, 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 no. We give back. Hey, see <laughs> ah! Oh shit, he's mad. Yeah, I know, big fella. And then I need to get out of here with my face intact! Brad! I've got the hard drive! I'm on route! Need extraction! Brad! Brad! Oh shit! sell this to the highest bidder. This time we're gonna do it the right way. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Step away from the hard drive. Now! <laughs> Sorry, Frank. Bye. So, what? No more mini golf?
Hammond needed me. Her tyrant had turned into a psychopath. So we took him down, and Hammond made sure he wouldn't be getting up again. In exchange, Hammond gave me the most important gift of all, friendship. And more importantly, a big bomb to blast my way into Calder's lair. The sewers. Calder and his posse of creepy, smart zombies had turned them into some kind of den of spooky-ass shit. And Calder himself can talk. Whatever he's become, there's still a little bit of psycho douchebag human still in there. Naturally, I grabbed the intel and booked it. And that would have been where our story ended. Frank West, triumphant hero of Willamette, once again. Vic Chu. Thief. Hellspawn. She stole my evidence. She held a gun to my head, and now it's on. camera. She has the evidence. What? Then get it back. Great advice, Brad.
doing, Vic? Remember me? I just thought we could talk about this. You hide behind glass. Take all you see. Claim this. Take that. Make it all yours. Give nothing back. All right, all right. A, a, a bit heavy, but I agree. I could do better. Tomorrow morning. Give me the camera back. I'm a new man tomorrow, I promise. You are part of the chain, Frank West. And I must break the chain. No, no. <laughs> you, you get it. Man. Oh, God, I hate you. Okay. You know what? You hurt my student. Took my story. And now, you've blown up my favorite camera. So be it. Frank West was the zombie lord. Let's roll, weirdo. You all right, Vic? Vic! Where the hell are you going? She left me! Again! What? Oh, great! Nice work, kiddo! We're ending this, Frank. Damn straight!
plenty, Ars. Almost ready. Just kill some zombies. Oh, Vic 2, Master Tactician!
Shit! 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 Okay, you zombie son of a bitch! Time to ring in the new year! I need you at Kichiro Plaza. I need medical assistance now. Okay, come on. Stay with me, kid. Stay with me. But we lost everything. Camera and Barnaby servers are wiped, and he blew the hard drive to a million pieces, so. <sighs> hey, um, you weren't really gonna shoot me, were you? No, we're fatal. Oh, like, like the leg? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Fair enough. I deserve that. But listen, if, uh, if it comes up again, can you aim for the right one? It's kind of a piece of shit anyway. <sighs> Frank. I... I'm really sorry about that. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I've had worse. And so will you. That's kind of the shit you go through when you're a good journalist, right? about being a great journalist. What is that? An SD card? From your camera? You pulled it? Yeah. Before it blew up? Go on. What do you want for it? Oh, jeez. No, I mean it. I'll give you anything. the story. My words, your pictures. Big coverage, big impact. Together. 50-50. Yeah. 50-50. I like the sounds of that. <laughs> ah. Plus mini golf. Oh man, not the mini golf. Yeah, okay. Mini golf. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you've sorted everything out, we need to get to the rendezvous point if we want to lift out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. Grab anything you need, and let me know when you're ready to go. Calder's toast. Ooh, burn. Not 
Not bad. I guess I'll give it a shot. Who knew? I'm a genius. I'll get this gate open. So, did your heart grow three sizes this Christmas, Frank? Come on. We're good now, right? We're good? Let's publish this story. Save the world. Then we'll be good. You need to get out of Willamette first. Let's go. So, Miss Chu, normally I'd have to arrest you for the shit you pulled. You'd have to catch me first, copper. Oh, jeez. Think you could be a journalist without guerrilla tactics? Depends. <sighs> Think the government will stop destroying our lives? Zing! <laughs> Think they're mad that we killed We're the daddy? We're meeting the helicopter on the roof of the parking garage. Just over the sky bridge. Oh, good! Nice and convenient! <sighs> did everyone get a souvenir? PTSD counts, right? It did for me. I think we pissed them off. Come on! Give me a second with this door. <sighs> no, no, no! We don't have a second!
If Frank could have it his way, this is where the story would end. He'd die a hero, sacrificing himself for the good of his friends. He wouldn't need to follow it up to see the mess that unfolded in the months after. But Frank's not here to tell the story his way. He can't load it up with spicy embellishments. Listening to his notes, I kind of wonder how this story would have gone when he told it later. Would he have defeated Fontana in single combat? Refused to conspire with the evil Dr. Blackburn? Added a sweet romance with the city engineer? I'm sure his second book would have sold as well as his first. But Frank's not here to tell his story. So he's got to trust me to do it. Whether he wanted it that way or not. And I say, the truth is better than fiction. <laughs>